Hi, and welcome to A Taste of Bipsy. I'm your host, Nina Murray, and this is Chef Neil. Hi, Nina. <laughs> so today, what are we going to be making? We're going to be making shrimp alfredo over angel hair pasta. Super easy and fun to make. Okay, sounds great. <laughs> um, so how do we get started? We're going to go ahead and get some butter melted in our pan. Get that all nice and hot. That's the fun part right there. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we're going to let that cook down a little bit and we're going to get a good hard cook on our garlic and our onions over here because I like to get those nice and soft. No one likes biting into a big old raw onion. Okay, so are we going to be using all of this butter? Yeah, uh, no, not all of that butter. Oh, okay. <laughs> Some of it's just for show, you know. Okay. Everybody likes looking at butter. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my onions in here first. What kind of onions are these, just regular onions? Yeah, just or? straight up yellow onions. Classic. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my garlics in there as well. Where did I put my tongs? There they are. Tried to hide from me. So I'm gonna... Get those sear in, and I want those to caramelize, so they're gonna turn brown, they're gonna look like they're sweating. Okay. And then once that happens, I'm gonna start uh, adding my shrimp a little bit. Now what I like to do with this is uh, use a pan that sticks instead of a non-stick pan. Really? And that is because uh, I'm gonna use this white wine to deglaze the pan, so I want things to stick to it, and this is gonna break it all up. So it's going to bring out a lot of flavors and it's going to add an awesome color to the sauce later. Oh, cool. I've never heard of that before. Get this going hard. So this is just an easy pan serving. You can just do this all in one pan if you got everything all put together. Some people like to make their Alfredo ahead of time, but I'm actually going to make it in the pan while I'm searing everything off. And that's the sauce, right? Correct. Okay. <laughs> now we're starting to get a little close there. They're already starting to sweat. I like to get them a little browner if possible. All right. So I'm going to throw just a little bit more butter just more so butter. <laughs> just so the shrimp doesn't get stuck right away. So okay. I like to leave the tails on the shrimp because it's going to look a lot prettier later. We're going to make a fun little plate design. I love shrimp. <laughs> and shrimp loves you. <laughs> We're getting close already. And we're gonna wait for those to turn pink and then I'm gonna get it almost to burn the bottom of the pan then I'm gonna add that. Okay. Now we might want to step back a little bit because a little flame might shoot out. Really? It's gonna be super fun. Oh, you pour this in. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So just cover your eyebrows, we'll be fine. <laughs> All right. And we don't even have to cook these shrimp all the way right now because it's going to finish cooking when we make the sauce as well. Okay. That's getting there. See, it's starting to get brown on the pan there. It's really starting to stick. That already smells good. <laughs> this is essentially shrimp scampi if I just stopped mm. right now and added the rest of that butter. <laughs> all right. There we go. I'm going to let it kind of burn that pan a little bit. Is that really going to make flames? I'm like 80% sure it is unless okay. it has a low alcohol content, which I am not 100% sure. And there we go. Here we go. Oh yeah. There's our fire. Woo! Fire! <laughs> All right, we're gonna let that dry out a little bit. 
And I'm gonna add my handy dandy heavy cream here as my base. This is just straight up heavy cream, uh, heavy whipping cream. Okay. So I'm gonna pour that in there, let it get hot. Add my Parmesan cheese until it gets to a thick texture that I like, and I'm gonna kill the heat. And then we're gonna go to Platon Town. Okay. <laughs> there we go. It's looking really pretty. <laughs> Don't mean to brag. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and add my heavy cream, get this party started. Just like that. I'm going to get that boiling before I start adding my parmesan. Like you grated this? It was uh, previously grated, but it was a. Uh, it's not like the in the green shaker cheese. It's yeah, a Rotolo. Walmart. Yeah. No. I heard a rumor that some of that has sawdust in it or something. Yeah. I'm not sure how true that is. That's kind of terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a beaver. <laughs> Thanks for laughing at that. I wasn't sure about that one, honestly. <laughs> We're almost getting there. We're getting a good simmer going on. I'd have to use my rag. That pan's getting warm. And that's going to start to thicken up a little bit? Yeah, especially once I start easing this cheese in there. There we go. And I'm just going to slowly add more until it gets thick enough. Let it melt in there. I'm probably gonna put like three times what I just put in there. And you know, if it's too thick, we can just always add a little bit more heavy cream. Oh. <laughs> just even it out. This is a good heart healthy meal. Seems like. <laughs> All right. Come on, cheese. You know I want to be your friend. There we go. Oh, we're getting close. Ah, but not close enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Trying to get it to look almost like a sauce, a uh, really thick sauce, so that's going to be mostly cheese. So like almost the con texture of like nacho cheese sauce, but a little bit thinner than that. So that's about exactly what we want right there. And a burn as well. <laughs> there we go. So that's pretty much done right there. Now I cook this pasta al dente, which means almost done. So that way I can finish cooking it in here so it's gonna absorb some of that heavy cream and awesome sauce that we just made. Okay. I'm gonna finish cooking the whole thing in here. Put that over there. Oh yeah. Now I'm about ready to lower this heat a wee bit. We're about to go to Platon Town. All right, so that's essentially our base. So that's really awesome and tasty. The unfortunate part, it looks really boring and bland. Oh, add a little salt and pepper to it. So the way to cure a boring looking plate when it's just all white like that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a plate, wipe this off a little bit. Whoop, pour it on the plate, there we go. 
Come on, Trent. <laughs> A little stringy action going on there. There we go. Place some shrimp just on top to look pretty. Try to get them all facing the same direction. But that one's not being a team player, so there we go. <laughs> all right, that looks pretty bland right now. So the trick to that is where'd my lemon go? There you are. I'll make a nice pretty little lemon twist. Lemon twist? Oh yeah. I'm just gonna put that right on top like so. Then we're gonna add a little bit of red to it. And what is this, uh, some type of pepper? Yeah, this is just uh, like that ground red pepper that you put on okay. pizza. I'm putting a little bit on there, mostly for its color, honestly. Uh, I can also like to use paprika a lot because very bland, a, little, a lot of it goes a short way. So if you ever just need a little color to something, just throw a little paprika on it. Then we're going to add some greenery to really bring out all those other colors. And then, and my this? favorite part. This is French's fried onions. Oh. It is my favorite thing in the world to just use as a garnish. But some people like to grind them up and use them as like panko. So I'm going to crush this up and sprinkle it on top. And we have one pretty little plate of shrimp alfredo over angel hair pasta. Wow, that's a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's all it. All you really need is garlic, onions, uh, pretty stuff to put on top of it, salt and pepper, and that's it. Okay, <laughs> um, great. Um, we'll come back after the break and we'll try some of this dish. <laughs> I teach a wide variety of things, including film editing, directing, documentary making, lighting. I fell in love with art as a young child and it's just always something that has stuck with me. You know, I love the whole process of going on set, going back into the editing room, telling a story. That's what I, I really love about film. I got laid off from my job and I figured this was the perfect opportunity to go to school to get a degree for it. As a kid, I was really into geeky stuff. I couldn't think of anything else that I would rather do. They really provide you with uh, the equipment and uh, you know, the necessary tools in order to you know, advance in a career, especially in communications field. Well, one thing that really drew me to video production especially is uh, it's just a way to reach people. And as someone who likes to communicate uh, with other people, I felt that mass communication, especially broadcasting, was a tool that I could use. You get some hands-on experience, they've got good stuff to work with, they really know what they're doing and, and they're willing to pass it on. When our students leave Budget Parish Community College, they are equipped to get a job immediately or they can move on to a four-year degree. Hi, welcome back to A Taste of Bipsy. I'm here um, still with our chef, Neil, and um, we're about to try this dish. Um, all right, here you go. There's your fork right there. So the shrimp do still have tails on them. I left it on there because I feel like that looks prettier. So don't choke on camera for me. I'll be real embarrassed. i pull that out. <laughs> I think I got some in my mouth too. There we go. <laughs> wow. This is delicious. Thank you very much. <laughs> so yeah, you can make this with anything really. So instead of shrimp, you could use chicken or whatever kind of protein you want. I prefer either poultry or seafood. But yeah, uh, good food. It's super easy to make yeah. when you're trying to one up your neighbor. You made it really quickly too. <laughs> And it really made a big difference, all this garnishes you added. I believe so, instead of just a plain white yeah, plate. Yeah, more appetizing <laughs> that way. Well, thanks for watching. Tune in again next week for another Taste of Fifty.